back by popular demand, um, send it. I don't know if you know this. First of all, I don't know if you, not only do I not know if you know this, I don't know if you know me. Hi, Desmond Fambrini, learning specialist that also has a good amount of fun sometimes. So in between the education videos, we like to do some kind of fun with the education. So we do have um, this app called Send It where people can ask questions um, kind of anonymously. And we can kind of get some difficult questions on these. Sometimes people are embarrassed to ask questions that are very, very important. Sometimes we get some silly questions on here as well. And I believe this is Send It Round 3. So we are going to be going in. We have lots and lots and lots of Send It questions. We are talking 43 Send It questions. We are not going to get to all of those today. As always, Desmond Fambrini, make sure to like, subscribe, follow on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, of course. Okay, first send it question. Hi, in all caps. This is a reminder that a question has a question mark. Hi is not a question. Okay, how do I figure out my gender identity? Now this is a great send it question. And with gender identity, it's tricky because there's no one action you could take. Gender identity can sometimes take a long, very long time to figure out. And that is completely fine. You need patience to figure out your gender identity. Feel free to experiment with different pronouns and different titles, or feel free to not use any title at all, right? But gender identity, don't think it needs to happen right away and you need the flag right away and then boom, that, that's what you need to do. No, it can be a process. Some people, it takes 20 years, sometimes 30. Um, so be patient with yourself. And that is how you figure out your gender identity, with patience. What's your type? Okay, first of all, I am a teacher. Second of all, uh, my type is personalities. I like people that are nice. I like people that um, make me think. I like people that make sure to check my very, very, very jealous tendencies. Fun fact, my, the type of person I am, I am the jealous type. So that is as far as I will go. Um, I like people that make me question if I'm doing the right thing and make me want to be a better, better person. Um, so I will just leave it at that. We are not going to go any more details than that one. How old are you? That is a very, very common question that I get a lot. Um, I am 29 years old. People are always like, oh, you must be like 35 because you're a teacher. And sometimes people are like, you look like you're 20. Um, and I'm fine with either one, but I do try to wear the blazers to make people know that I am not super young, but I do kind of have the face that's a little on the younger side. Um, so it, it is what it is. I'm 29 years old. I was born in 94. Yes, a different century. Fit check. I'm currently wearing a Macy's blazer, a polo shirt, makeup from 60 different places, um, and that is the outfit check. Favorite episode of South Park? There is an ep okay, so first of all, I should go on record and say that despite being a teacher, I love South Park. I think it is a very, very smart show and people don't understand that even though it is inappropriate at times, it is a smart show. There is an episode where Butters is labeled as bisexual and is sent to a, a conversion camp or like a, a kind of camp where you're, you know, they turn you straight. And it is one of the best commentaries on like now what is illegal in most states, like conversion camps and, and that type of kind of therapy. Um, and it's one of the best commentaries I've ever seen. Fantastic, I don't know if we can pull up that episode name, but Butters and, and he was bisexual and he goes to the camp and he gets, does this great speech at the end where he says, you know, if God made, made me in, in his image and I'm bisexual, then maybe God is a little bisexual too. And I'm like, oh snap, it was so good. It was so good. I'm sure I'm gonna get canceled for that one. Give two options to choose from. Date a guy or a girl. So this is, this is an option one, guy or girl. Um, I would, why is everyone so interested in my type all of a sudden? This is supposed to be educational. Um, I'm bisexual, I, I, I am fine dating either one, but that is not what we are talking about today. Okay, ooh, don't check out of Nicki Minaj. Love them both, think they're both incredible. Nicki is queen, I said what I said. I have DID, would you work with us as a student? DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. Um, absolutely, this is a very rare in, in adolescence, right? Uh, usually those with the DID diagnosis tend to get that diagnosis later, but we are seeing it a little bit earlier. But I, you know, I, my focus is in language processing disorders and neurodiversity, and DID is certainly learning, um, you know, is certainly a learning difference, right? Or we would consider that like a, a neurodiverse quality, a neurodiverse trait or diagnosis. And I would happily work with somebody with DID. Absolutely. Do you like soup? I hate soup. I absolutely hate soup. The only type of soup that I eat is miso soup and all their soup can die. That was aggressive. I apologize. To be honest, Jordan, the Oklahoma girl. I love Jordan so much. I low-key love Jordan so much. There's some people that you meet and you're just like, I think you're an amazing person. Jordan is one of them. What is your opinion on self-diagnosing autistics? Whoa, first of all, we, I, I'm not used to saying autistics. Those with ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Um, but you know, you wanna call yourself that, that is completely fine. Um, when you go to the doctor, 
and you describe your symptoms, it's sometimes helpful if you say what you think you have. And I feel like self-diagnosing is the same thing. You cannot have an official diagnosis if it's just coming from yourself, and you certainly can't take medication because you self-diagnose. But it's a good first step to look at your traits and say, oh, well, it seems like I may have this, whether that be ASD, OCD, ADHD, and move on from there. So I have nothing against self-diagnosing, you just can't pretend a self-diagnosis is an actual medical diagnosis. Did you know that you slay? Thank you, I appreciate the support. Do you speak any other languages? I have a form of dyslexia called auditory processing disorder. Learning other languages is a little bit tricky for me. Now with that said, I am fluent in American Sign Language. I, I did American Sign Language all throughout high school and was the president of the ASL club at Dartmouth. So yes, I am fluent in ASL and love sign language. Show us how to do the trumpet voice. So I could make a voice that sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> Sing Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. These are not questions. Roma, Roma, ma. I'm gonna stop. We're gonna do one last question. What blush do you use? I, I switch blushes. We gotta do an academic question here. I have dyslexia and I get made fun of um, for my reading. Would you recommend, uh, what would you recommend doing so I feel safe in class? No one with dyslexia should be forced to read out loud. Your teacher needs to be talked to. Sorry to get like that. But if you are not comfortable reading in class and you have a diagnosed learning disability like dyslexia, you should not be forced to read out loud. You can work up to reading out loud and if you feel empowered reading out loud, you can, but that is absolutely ridiculous. You have a language processing disorder. That is completely fine. Your brain works a little differently. You may want to work up to reading out loud, but no one with dyslexia should be forced to be I should be forced to read out loud, period. I actually get upset to the point where I can't even talk anymore. Real talk, no child should be forced to read out loud. <laughs> Just putting it out there, right? Because that can cause trauma. But but people with language processing disorder specifically, right? That is ridiculous to me. That is the idea that you are going to make somebody with dyslexia simply traumatized when it comes to reading. Nobody with dyslexia should be made to read out loud unless they opt into it. It should be on your IEP. Um, personal opinion. Thanks so much for the sending questions. This was so much fun. Make sure to follow, hit the like and subscribe button, all that fun stuff. Turn on the bell notification. Um, and of course, I hope this helps.